Hello everybody, I'm Jofia, Car Design Consultant and Gravity Sketch, and today I'm going to show you how to use the environment and lighting settings to get out the most out of your presentation. So, first thing first, how to get to this preset. Simply, on your non-dominant hand, press the blue button, and you will see we have an icon for environments. There is a lot of lovely presets, but let's start with my favorite one. It's called Day and Night, and you simply grab it, and then press blue button. This menu will pop and you will see this bob and also you will see the time of the day, which is an amazing feature, you will love it. If I slide in the beginning, you see this is a dynamic sky box and we will start in the night. If I'm sliding, we go to the morning, then you can slide through the noon, afternoon, sunset and night again. This is amazing, everything it's much more realistic. You see the, the highlights are beautiful and you can also control the north offset. For the shadows, you can either decide if you can switch or switch on the shadows, which I recommend you keep the sketch. And you have also floor grid, which can help you when you are modeling to see the grid density here, which you can set up here. Let's go back to other presets. Press the blue button and we are back in the environment menu. So let's create a new one. I will click here on the create environment and this neutral gray background will show up. First thing first, I want to bring HDR here. So I click here, HDR, and this menu will pop in Gravity Sketch. You have these presets. I will choose my favorite one, Sunset. And now we have this beautiful skyline background. One of the, my favorite features is that you can now grab and rotate the whole environment so you can get a perfect background for your design display. Now you see we have more settings here. So first thing first, how to change the light. You can grab it and simply intuitively rotate. You see how the sun direction is changing and this is amazing but there is one more cool feature you grab it and you go up with the joystick and you see how much brighter everything is and you go down and you decrease the brightness but that's not all if you go left you can control the temperature you go left it's much colder and if you go right you see we are going warmer warmer to very orangey sunsetty color so this is beautiful. You can now influence both of the intensity and the temperature of the light. Again, we have the shadows. I can switch it off, keep it on, recommend keep it on. It looks much more realistic. And you can also decide if you want to keep the gun drop. So you see there is a slight change in the way how the environment is wrapping up the gun drop. I usually keep this off I, that's my personal preference and we also have the floor grid here but what if you don't want the hdr what if you want to create a gradient so we have solution for that and in the background you click on the color and you see again neutral gray background and now we'll set the gradient here we start with the ground so let's go for a blue then we go to horizon let's go for yellow and last but not least we will set the sky. So let's go for pinkish color. And you see we have this beautiful hue gradient blue, yellow to pink. Now, you see the color? It still have the sunsetty color. Why is that? Because we need to change the reflection. So we can decide, yeah, let's match the gradient with the gradient reflection on the car. You see? Now this is much more cohesive. But of course, you can still keep the HDR if you want, or you can opt for Zebra, which is also great because these Zebra stripes, this super shader, allows you to control the highlights and to maximize your effort while modeling. Love it. And now one more cool thing, you can decide if you blur the reflections. So it's the best visible on the Zebra. You can either blur it completely or keep it super crisp. Okay. So this is about a gradient. So let's say we decided to save this as our own preset. How do we do that? We just simply click here on the sunset and we can 
rename it as rainbow. Okay, click here, blue button. And now we have it. Just press the blue button. And in the preset menu, now we have our own template, which we can always grab, press blue button, and then we can edit it again. Love it. So one super cool feature is the point of view lighting. Right now, you see, you are in the control of the lighting. So if I kind of said that the light is coming from the other side of the car, so it's super dark for me, I need to go all the way around. If you have somebody, your boss or your colleagues who never been in VR and you want to show, you, show them your presentation, make sure you set point of view lighting. And now the light is following your vision, your point of view. And it's describing the car and all of its features in the best light possible. This is beautiful, super intuitive, and you always can judge the reflections and shapes. So yeah, that's all from me. I would love to hear from you which one is your favorite feature. And if you have some feedback or comments, please share it with us. And this is all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.